Good morning, everybody. We are going to be doing this beautiful, simple painting of a girl in a knit cap with a knit sweater. The snow is coming, the winter is crisp, the sun might be shining, but it's still warm, cozy, and creative. Let's get started. Good morning and welcome to Deliberately Creative. And if it's afternoon or evening where you are, or nighttime, welcome! <laughs> we are time travelers here. In my time zone right now, it is still before noon, so I am in the morning. <laughs> welcome, guys. Welcome to Mary and Karen and Devontic and Susan. Thank you guys so much. I just realized that I didn't put the link for the book in my book. Uh, chat window here. So I am going, please bear with me. <laughs> I'm going to put the chat, put that into the chat. I have been doing some cleaning. If you see here behind me, I actually have like a window showing up and the counter is cleared up. I actually made a counter behind me. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? Um, the 30 cozy designs were Sorry, I can't type and, and talk at the same time, can I? Uh, the 30 Cozy Designs were done on the uh, live stream marathon, the New Year's Eve this last year. So, <clears throat> yeah, I worked really hard, really fast. And then Teespring and YouTube have this issue. Their um, approval process between the two um, companies broke somewhere and my book is not an easy just click and pin. I have to actually post the link. So hold on for just a second. So it's teespring.com forward slash 30 hyphen cozy. Yeah, <laughs> cozy creative hyphen designs. There we go. There's the link in the chat. If you are here and you want to use it, please do. Hopefully it will pin. Sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. And sometimes it takes a long time for it to come through. And if Mark has a chance, he might uh, click on it and pin it for me. Because right now, boom, we're here. We're, we're getting going. So the 30 Cozy Creative Designs, this happens to be the one in soft cover printed book form from Amazon. And it is available right now on Amazon.com. If you click my links down below, you'll see my Amazon shop and I have a whole page of just my books on my Amazon store. This is the actual coloring book uh, printout, instant download. So if you want to draw along with me or color along with me, you can get the book and very inexpensive instant download. Print the pages that you want. And I'm just going to do all of the advertising right here up front, just sort of front load it. We do also have the, um, with all my heart, creative hearts, mini coloring book that is all doodle hearts. There's six of them. It's a mini book and it's only available on Teespring. This one you can print out and make printed cards and paint them. So you would print them out. They would be black and white. And then you can paint them, print out, print it on cardstock or on watercolor paper. There we go. Okay. Hello, Johannes. Welcome, welcome. All right. I'm going to try pinning it one more time. Okay. Mark said that he will get it. All right. <laughs> so we're going to go in. I'm going to take me off the screen now. <laughs> Nothing like there. See, take me off the screen and then you have the reference. For the picture, I'm looking at this going, I like that out of focus, 
snowy type of background. What are we doing in this background? First, we are going to get the paper wet around the hat, around her face, around the hair, and the whole background wet. Hello, Kathleen, welcome. So here at the beginning, I kind of say hello to everybody. Welcome, I'm so glad that you're here. So there, my the background is wet around her. And then I am going to go in, surprisingly, I'm going to go in with a little bit of some a little bit of some green. This is that sort of natural looking. We've got a bit of this green in here. This is an early snow, so there's still a little bit of the trees showing. And then I'm going to grab another little green. So now we've got sort of a yellowy green and we've got a little bit more of a fresh green. So that's doing well. I think we're gonna grab a little bit of some Sienna Brown. And throw a little bit of that down here and maybe a couple spots. See, I'm, I'm going in real random and I'm not, I am not being real particular about where those colors are going. Hello, Gail, welcome. And Michelle, yay, you made it. You made it to the live stream. So this is live, if you didn't know, we um, when I'm recording it. If you are here after the live stream, welcome. If you have any questions after, make sure and put them down in the comment section. I do read the comments. So now I'm going to go in and grab a bit of that sort of Prussian blue color gray it up just a little bit. The background is wet already. So I did wet the background down. We're not going to do the bokeh with the, with the actual, um, sponges this time. We're going to do the snowflake bokeh. I like a lot. It's my favorite. And that is done with the Ooh, that's a that was much darker. We'll have to work that one around. The snowflake bokeh makes that soft and cozy wintry scene is done with just water being sprinkled on. But we do need the paper to be ever so slightly drier. It can't be puddling. It can't be so wet that the paint is puddling. See how we're doing? We're getting those colors in. Now the colors do lift on this paper. This is the 100% bamboo, or excuse me, 90% bamboo and... Um, 20% uh, 10% cotton by Hanamul Mula Hanamula and it's their mixed media paper it's 140 or 125 pounds it's lovely so it's watercolor acrylic pastel sketch mixed media acid free natural white I really like this paper a lot oh that's pretty so what I want to do, I'm, I'm sort of letting it dry a little bit in some spots here. I don't want it to be as soggy because I'm going to be sprinkling water on it. So, but I don't want to dry it with the hairdryer yet. I will, I will dry it with the hairdryer, but I don't want to do it quite yet. A little bit of that. I'm just going back and forth between those greens and blues. Went a little bit. This makes a lovely, cozy painting. You know, girl all bundled up in her soft, soft winter sweater. First snow of the season. 
we haven't had our first snow of the season yet. So we are possibly, maybe going to have snow next week. But when we get snow, it's like, you know, half an inch of snow. The city shuts down. So, and I just want to, down here around her hair, I see that I want to get that a little bit darker. Just like that. All right. So now, see how it's still wet because the paint is sort of blooming out. I am going to hit this ever so slightly with... The heat tool. I'm not going to dry it completely. It is still going to be damp. Um, hey Harlan, no, I don't think Gina's here yet. If she comes in, she'll say hi. If she, um, Gina has her own business that she's doing. So there's a lot of times when she doesn't get to come to the live stream. This time of day is like right in the middle of her work day also. And since my, my moderators are volunteers, that I've asked to, to help out. Uh, today I've got my husband. He is, he's not, he's kind of doing some other things, but he's keeping an eye on chat for me. So now what I'm doing is I just grabbed my round brush. I'm going to wipe the water off the ferrule just so that I can have a little bit more consistency. And I'm going to drop water onto this background. And look what happens. It starts looking like snow is falling down around here. Nice out of focus snowfall. And I want the out of focus ones need a little bit more water. There we go. There we go. All right. Now I don't want those to keep growing across my page, so I'm going to dry them really quick. But isn't that a pretty background? The background's in completely already. Michelle, you're expecting snow during the next couple days? Yeah, I'm kind of hoping for snow too. You know, Pacific Northwest, we don't get snow every year. Hello, Joanne. Welcome. So yeah, we don't get snow every year here in the Pacific Northwest, but when we do, it's always so pretty because we have so many leaves and so many conifers and yeah, pretty, pretty trees. If you're interested in that, um, the book with all of the designs, it's up above in the chat. It's pinned and it will be available on the end screen. Uh, on the uh, iCards after the video and it is down below in the more information box. If you're new here, click that subscribe button and remember to turn on your notifications. Okay, that's enough of that. I want to put a little bit of white snow. There will be some extra snow after we get her hair in, but I want to go ahead and get some snow falling in the background with the gouache. Hello, Kashiki. Samantha. Welcome. Late night for you. Yes. All right. So I just have some gouache. You could do this with white acrylic paint, um, a soft body type acrylic paint, like uh, the crafter's acrylic or any um, artist acrylic. See if I can get that. Just get a little bit of snow falling around her. Now, if you get your paint too thin, it will um, sort of disappear. <laughs> it will fade. The, the dots will be fading. It's snowing and cold where you are, Joanne. I am going to take that one. I didn't want two of them right next to each other like that. So you can clean up your dots. Clean up your little snowflakes. Get them to look really soft and pretty. Uh, you like to watch when I'm live. Oh, that's sweet of you. I like to have you here live. 
And I like to have people coming in afterwards also. And if you, uh, after the, after you've watched the live, if you want to come back in and watch the replay while you're painting, that is always welcome and helpful. If you didn't see it yesterday, I did do the, I did do the bunny slippers. So actually that one wasn't the bunny slippers that I did yesterday. I did this one. I made the lamp purple. <laughs> So that was yesterday's warm and cozy painting. All the paintings and everything are going to be listed in the I card up above. So, you know, there it is. I'm going to go ahead and start working on her sweater. We're going to get her sweater in and it's not going to be in the pink, pink, pink range. I'm going to go for more of the scarlet and, you know, that Look at that. That's, that's really, really close. We are going to be doing some layering and some glazing to get a little bit of shadow in there. She's going to have her red sweater. I like that her hat is a multi mix color. So we're going to go with that for her hat, but her hat will be done more so after the and just make sure my tape is down tight. <laughs> Um, her hat's going to be done after her hair. Actually, I'm going to let it bleed underneath right here. So you can do that. You can be, um, be selective and let, let the color go all the way off the edge if you want to. We don't have a ton of sweater, do we? I'm, I mostly made this a, a focus on her hair bit, didn't I? <laughs> Which is going to be real interesting because I don't do hair. Actually, I think I'm just going to take that tape off the bottom. I'm just going to take it off the bottom. I want to get the whole sweater in and the bottom of her hair. So there, look, we can do that. We can do that. See, everything is wet still. I can just go in and work that all the way off the edge. I, I like that better. So shadows in red. One, you can shadow it up. Ah, oh, Mary, you're here, but your internet's all messed up. Yeah, that happens. That happens. I'm going to take a little bit of kind of a brown tone. Let's see what that does. Kind of dulls it down just a little bit, but it darkens it ever so slightly, like right up underneath of where her hair is. I'm going to grab a little bit of this sort of light violet, light violet blue. And now I'm getting a darker tone on her, on her sleeve. We're not going to have to do a lot of, let me see something here. She feels a little out of focus. There we go. I think that's better. We can zoom in. Oh, come on. Zoom in. There we go. And down. There we go. See, because we did a lot of the detail with the pen, we really don't have to do a lot. I might take a little bit of that darker color and just sort of drop it in to those. Actually, I just did it the wrong direction. Oh, well, let's just, let's just go like this. Blot. <laughs> the darker color is going in the middles between the knit stitches, sort of on those purl stitches. A little bit darker. A little bit darker. Not too much. Not, not worrying about it too much. But I am putting in a bit of detail. What can I say? We're going to make that a little bit more red back there.
the stripes that are on the top side of it. It feels almost striped. It's not really striped. It's just the way the knit, knit and purl of that pretty sweater. There we go. I hope that you're enjoying your day, that you are, you know, just taking some time, having some fun, being, being present with your artwork is always a good way to start your day or end your day. I like that. So there we go. I am going to go ahead and dry because I want to start, I want to put in just a real, real pale layer for her skin because it's on, basically on the same layer as the shirt or the sweater. We, be, we pretty much have background, face, sweater, hair, hat is sort of the order of operations here. Sometimes you have to look at it and go, well, what's my order of operations? What am I supposed to do first, second, third? Many times it's hard to figure it out. This one is very clear on what we're doing. I am looking at that going, I'm going to take a little bit of magenta, a little bit of yellow ochre, So that's, that's kind of a, kind of a fleshy tone. It's going to be very, very very light actually when we're all done. It's going to start off feeling really dark. But you've got to have a little bit of darker tone in it. just to make it feel like their skin. I think that I'm going to put just a pop of a little bit of magenta on there just to just to give it a feel of maybe rosy cheeks. And rosy chin. Now right now that looks really um, really pilly up. I didn't it's just the fibers releasing up off the paper for a second. And as we dry it, those little fibers will just go right back down into the paper. And look at that. We've got her face in. We're not going to do anything else to her face. That's the easiest way to get her little face in. And you see that magic of when we dry that paper and those fibers all just suck back down in. Now it feels like there's a little bit of shadow. She's got rosy cheek. She's got a little bit of a rosy chin. We don't have to do anything else on her face. We're going to move down and start working on the hair. So I'm going to get this face color out of the way. Looking at that, her hair actually has a bit of a reddish hint to it. It's very similar, actually, to the color of my hair when I'm outside. So it's got some real deep tones to it. So there is, there is some umber in it, and there is some sienna in it. There's a little bit of the Prussian blue in it, I think. So, and here, for those of you who have just wandered in, let's... Uh, zoom out so you can see what we're looking at here. This is the whole painting so far. We're moving along pretty quick because this was such a fun and easy background. Then putting in the sweater. There will be a little bit more work on the sweater. I want to put in her hair next and then the hat and then it's just details. Little details. So let's go ahead and zoom back in. So thank you so much, guys. I appreciate the likes. I appreciate the subscribes. I appreciate you guys just being here. 
I'm going to grab some, I am going to grab some yellow ochre, some burnt sienna. Come on. Burn, 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 burn. Get that burnt sienna going. See, that's too orange. But it would actually look like maybe. Let's go ahead and just, just start laying some color on, you know? Just lay some color on. Let's just get it on there because we can do our refining in a minute. Let's just get a layer of color. Now, if you want color mixing for hair and skin tones with watercolor, make sure and check out uh, Lindsay, the frugal crafter. She has amazing paintings. She just did one of, I think it was her daughter, Maisie, laying on the dock while they were out camping. Oh my gosh. And unexpected color, color choices and how beautiful it turned out. So I am, I am a huge fan of Lindsay's. I've been watching her for years, years, even before I started doing my own YouTube channel. This is going to be our highlight color. So that's the reason why I'm just putting it over the whole thing. This is the highlight color. I'm going to go in and grab a little bit of that Prussian blue. And then I want to warm it up with a little bit more of that burnt sienna. And I want to put some areas that are going to be darker. But this is all wet, so I'm not, this is not details yet. This is just giving me general general shapes, general ideas. It's not, I'm going to take some burnt, burnt sienna or burnt umber type of color. Just start putting some of that in darker up here around the, where the hat is, maybe down here. Start getting a little bit of detail, but not much. As the paper dries out, you start seeing where you can put a little bit more, a little bit more. Layer your colors up. Hair is not one color. So we're just going, just going to get some colors in there. And now I'm figuring this out as I go along. Cause like I said, I, I am not, I don't usually paint people. And this is like, you know, mostly it's painting the, painting the hair and knitwear. <laughs> Very little of, of the, uh, the girl's face in there. Just enough. So you, you know, that there's a person, but not enough to give you any identifiers of her. This is the shadows where her hat is pushing against her hair. And then I'll just sort of drag those, that color down. It's really easy to overwork. So just be aware that as you're going along, you might see a, a section that you go, Ooh, I like that. And then you, barrel right over the top of it. So I'm actually getting really close. It needs to be a little darker around this area here. This is getting really close. And yeah, so I, I am figuring it out as I go along. I'm not, 
you guys are here, you're seeing what I do, <laughs> and I'm hoping that you will have fun and be successful at it also. So this part down here, see how it's a lot darker. I just picked up a mixture of burnt sienna and, and burnt umber. Using the, the round of the brush to sort of give me my, my flow of the hair. I need to be careful. I don't want to end up taking out all those highlights coming off the edge. There's a little bit of some darker right in that area. This is where having a reference and knowing that you're not painting each individual hair, you're painting clumps of space. So it's not like pen and ink where the only color that's on the paper is the ink. And so you have to draw all the hair. This, this is giving you broader strokes, broader areas to go in there. <laughs> you watch Lindsay also. Oh, she is totally amazing. <laughs> yeah, I I love Lindsay. Her her art. It it took me a little bit of time when I first started watching her to be able to kind of slow down her he slow down her voice in my head because everything she was saying it was like, "Oh, oh, I know that." Oh, I know how to do that. Yeah, I can do that. But I was hearing her voice so quickly that it took me a second every time I would listen to slow down her voice in my head. Not, I didn't need to slow it down while I was listening. Just sometimes we hear things and we know exactly what they're saying, what they're talking about, but we can't separate the sound at least that's me I, that that's that might just be me remember this bamboo paper you can lift on so if i need to lift out a bit of a highlight here and there i can do that now i'm seeing that right up here really does need that darker brown right up underneath the hat so i'm just grabbing more of that burnt sienna brown or burnt umber brown and burnt sienna brown there we go and they are not as watered down. They're a little bit, it's a little bit thicker. Let's see, do I have that dark enough? Yeah. It's making almost a walnut for that shadow. Almost a walnut brown. Not quite as green as a walnut brown. Walnut brown actually has a lot of green in it, surprisingly. I'm just getting that dark color on there. I will work it down a little bit, that bottom edge. I don't want it to look quite so, so harsh. <laughs> yeah, she does talk a little fast, but I, after, after you listen to a person for a while, it's like listening to someone that speaks another language and then they're speaking English. Sometimes you have to listen a little bit harder and you'll find, uh, after working in education for quite a while and working with students that are uh, second English as a second language learners, they will you, you'll nod. You'll look at you'll look and you'll listen and you'll nod. Just as you're listening to a person, because basically your brain is trying to slow down the sounds. And you're trying to not be, not be rude or disrespectful to the person you're listening to. So you'll nod as you're listening.
And I find I sit there and I nod a lot when I'm listening to, um, oh, listening to Lindsay. Uh, Lisa Lackery is another one that speaks really, really fast. She does a lot of beautiful color pencil work. I love her color pencil work. That's Lisa Lackery from Lackery Fine Art. Um, yeah, see, I'm doing, I'm doing shout outs for people who probably have never heard of me before, but that's okay. Part of it is I want you to, the YouTube algorithm to start hearing me, like me connecting my channel to these other people, because I want, I know that a lot of my audience does watch these other people, but sometimes the algorithm doesn't pay attention, you know? So there we go. And I'm just continuing to work color over this. I think I want to dry it and see what it's looking like. See where I need to pump up the, the contrast because that's what happens is that you, you, when it dries, you lose contrast. So there we go. It looks like she's looking out a wet window. Yeah, kind of, doesn't it? Looking through that big, um, the big sliding glass window. So after we get this dry, I'm going to zoom out so we can take a better look and see what we're looking at. Because right now I'm right on top of it, so it's hard to see. It's looking like I need to bring in a little bit of, oops, sorry. I need to bring in a little bit of a highlight right, right through here, sort of connecting to that one. There we go. Oh, don't worry, Mich Michelle. <laughs> they think, I think, we all think, yeah, but it does. It looks like she's looking at a big, either a big sliding glass window or a plate glass window, thinking about, am I going outside for real? <laughs> I like it. I like it. So just so that we can have that little check in, where, where are we? We are at... We're at this point. So this is where we started. That's the reference. And this is where we are. I hope that gives you a quick, quick little view. I think we're doing pretty well. I do want to get a little bit of a highlight in her hair here. And what I'm going to do for that is I am going to take maybe, I'm just looking for a, brush that has a little bit more, I guess maybe I'll, I'll use this one. I'm going to come in and just soften up and blot. Just a bit. See how we're, I'm doing it the direction that the hair is growing and I'm working in little lines up and down to try and get it to soften out and give me that little bit of a highlight in there without scrubbing on the paper too hard. Basically just a little wiggle here. 
let's go to the side view and see if you can see that little wiggle. So just setting the brush down and doing a little wiggle. I'm not pushing hard because this paint lifts really nicely on the bamboo paper. See how we're getting sort of a natural, a little bit more natural looking highlights than we would if we just went scrubbing straight across. Doing it this way, then you get a little bit of highlight here and there without too much work. I might glaze a little bit of color over those just so they, they can blend in just a smidge, maybe a little touch of it right there. You don't want it to, to look like you've got holes in her hair. So there's some areas here that I look at it and I'm going, I'm gonna dry this again and see what happens. Again, this paper, it's when it dries, it dries much flatter. You don't end up with all those little hairy things sticking up funny. I'm going to grab, oh, and I've been doing most of this painting here with the number 12 round mimic by creative Mark and the number one or one inch simply Simmons flat wash that has the clear acrylic handle and the little um, slope at the back end. Yeah. Thank you so much, Lorianne. Yeah. Thank you guys uh, for clicking that like button. And if you're new in here, click that subscribe button. I know the subscriptions aren't the thing it's the views. And I have to remember that I have to keep reminding myself. It's the views, not the subscriptions. I am going to warm up those highlights just a smidge with a bit of a glaze. From my, just the, just that burnt sienna. I love that warm burnt sienna color. There we go. Just warming up those highlights just a little bit. I think that is looking really, really nice. Okay. All right, Cole. So thank you. I appreciate that uh, you made a you you made a, a a different choice in how you were going to interact. I appreciate that a lot, really. Thank you so much for being here. And you know, the cool thing about YouTube is that there's something out here for everybody. And sometimes. We have, we make a snap decision and then our snap decision is not necessarily what we ended up being, what we ended up thinking. I don't know. Sometimes my, my thought processes get a little bit muddled as I'm doing the painting. I stop thinking so much <laughs> and start just doing the work. There we go. Whoops, I just lost my mouse. Cord, mouse, mouse, come up from the floor. <laughs> All right. Come on, mouse. Ah, my mouse got stuck. There we go. Yeah, we love having everybody here. 
We are an, an all-inclusive group. We are a family-friendly group. We have members of our community that are very young, and we have members of our community who are very seasoned. And young can be early in your art career. It doesn't have to be early in your lifetime. So many of us are very young in certain types of art. I'm going to put a little bit of that darker tone down here at the bottom. Just coming up just a little bit. There we go. And then I'm going to just blot so it doesn't have a hard edge. Oh, look at that. So fun. All right, we're going to get her hat going in. I'm ready for the hat. Ready for some knitwear. So what I need to do is dry her hair so that the hat doesn't come down into her hair. How's everyone doing today, Cole? I am doing fantastic. I had good news yesterday and really put me in a good mood for today to do this very optimistic painting. So, <laughs> hello, Sarovi. Welcome. And home learning, thank you. Yeah, the drawing, the drawing was done in a 14 hour marathon. <laughs> And I did a little booklet that you can do an instant download of on Teespring. The link is over in the chat. And so I did four, 14 hours of drawing. There's, uh, there's fun things. Pop-Tarts. Oh, the Pop-Tarts were a great fun. Lots of cozy and comforting type things. Lots of tea and coffee. There's also lots of treats. So how about that? That peanut butter fudge milkshake was outer space. It was so cool. So if you're interested in those videos, the um, links for the playlist, there's a link for the playlist down below in the more information. There will be one up here in the iCard. And this book is available on Teespring. The link is down below and it's over in the more information box. All right. So just my, my, my real quick for you guys, the, um, we are a, an art teaching channel and we're not a shout out channel for people. So I appreciate you being here and I appreciate those that are trying to grow their channels. I know how hard it is because I'm, I had, I'm in that process also of growing my channel, but part of being in the art community is that you start supporting other artists on their channels and then they will in turn start supporting you over on your channel and then as you become friends, you start supporting each other with shout outs and things like that. So just be aware that that's where, our, where we are right now. I don't do shout outs for people that I don't know. Because, you know, I want to make sure that you've got a channel that has artwork that would be what my community would like to see. And it's kind of like doing a, um, like doing an advertisement for a brand. You know, how you want to make sure that whatever you're sharing with your community is something that is going to be um, what your community wants to see. You don't want to share things that are off brand. So what I've got here, this is sort of the cerulean blue on this palette. This is just a cheap 42 color fan palette off of Amazon and don't pay more than 15 to $17 for it. If you click my link in the, um, click the affiliate link down below for my Amazon shop, it is an affiliate link. I do earn a small commission off of those, but if you click that link, 
and go to my uh, watercolor and art page, you'll see that. But many times companies will change their prices. They will, uh, you know, really jack things up as people start wanting them more. They start pricing them higher. So just be aware, many companies are selling these paints. So just enjoy. Yeah, hey, thanks. Thanks, Cole. I'm glad that you guys understand. And Sarovi, I hope you understand. And Home Learning, thank you. I appreciate you guys being here. And Cole, I hope you come back sometime and check us out. We have lots of stuff going on. Let me stick that piece of tape down. This hat, I'm apparently I'm making it a little bit more blue, but it's going to have little little touches of other colors in it. So I want to soften it up just a little bit. So I'm going to go like this and give it just with dry paper from the from the kitchen, or you can use face face tissue or bathroom tissue. Okay, Sarovi. So, um, so remember what I said is that we don't do um, shout outs and we don't beg for people to come look for things. So I appreciate you being here. Make sure that you are enjoying the, the time learning and stuff like that. Bye home learning. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you stopping by. All right, so now I want to get a few little drops of this sort of magenta in here, and I'm just going to drop it in first off, it's going to look kind of weird, but what I want to do is get it caught on some of those little knit type sections. Just getting a bit of that color in there. I am going to be blotting these, so don't worry. It's not as, not going to be as, you know, <laughs> potentially, um, potentially distressing. I don't want anything to be distressing. This is bright magenta. Some of the spots I'm going to leave darker. Some are going to be lighter. There, see, we just start doing that. We're working our way to getting more color. Hello, Kristen, working a lot this week, missing people. Yeah, thank you. Miss you too. So happy that you're here. Now I'm taking that color and I'm actually working it around into some of those light areas, into some of the dark areas. You see how we're starting to get that that fun multicolored yarn type of effect. The magenta mixes so well with that cerulean blue type of color, it makes a lovely like light, light lavendery purple. See? So nothing distressing here. We're just starting to get color in. The back side of our hat here needs to be darker than that front edge. All right. I'm going to blot that front edge. See, I just got it wet. I'm blotting that front edge. See how we just put that into a lot of highlight. I'm going to come up here, put a little bit of water and blot the top of the hat because I want more highlight up here. Just lift the paint out. This, the sort of that cross piece on the hat where the, where all the yarn joins together, that's brighter. And then in the little tucked in bits are darker. So I'm going to put a little bit darker of the, that blue right into those bits and sort of have it come down just a little. Back of her head is 
much darker, the back of the hat. So now you're glazing, you're taking thin layers of watercolor over. There's a bit of light over here. I want to keep it lighter just at that back edge where the sunlight is sort of working its way around. But then it's dark down here. There's a little bit of light showing up. Uh, well, take care, Kristen. Have fun. Enjoy your day. You got your mimic paintbrush, your mimic brushes and paints yesterday. Ooh, that's going to be fun. I foresee some fun painting time in your future, Miss Mary. I'm just dropping in because that paint is wet more so in the, the little shadow bits. And I'm going to take a little bit of that magenta right into the purple, into the, that blue and make some more of that purple. Darker down here at the bottom of the hat band. A little bit of light around the top edge of it. There's a little bit of dark showing up. Just little bits of shadows, but not a lot. And I'm going to say that that area right along the band, even though it doesn't show as a super dark, it's darker. So I just added a little bit more of the cerulean blue. And I'm going to sort of come up underneath of those edges of knit. There, see? Just a little bit. Gives you that feeling of that swirl coming around without doing too much. And then I think a little bit of Prussian blue into it now. The By putting the Prussian blue into that cerulean blue, it darkens it up a lot, but it keeps it in the same color family. There we go. And bring a little bit of that coming down. See how it's starting to feel like there's a bit of a head inside that hat? There's some shape. There's some form. And there's pretty much... Put a little bit more shadow right down here. Oh, isn't that pretty? That's coming together so nicely. Layering up thin layers of paint when you're doing uh, watercolor really, really helps. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, guys. I am really excited by how this is turning out. If you are new here, if I've got some people that are just lurking and watching, if you're new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Make sure to turn on your notifications if you want to be notified when I post new videos. I am going to be posting the rest of the videos for this series. It's going to take us into February. February is sort of going to be my overlap month this year. I am going to, I am working on a project for March where we're going to be painting little houses. I don't, it, if I do any type of marathon, it's not going to be drawing all 30 houses. <laughs> I might do a, let's draw, um, let's draw six houses or let's draw eight houses. 
because by the time we're done drawing eight houses, we will have the idea of how to draw little houses and how to maybe even only doing five little houses. Because truthfully, it's going to take me half an hour to 45 minutes per house minimum after we find them. I, I plan on having my houses already chosen, but that's going to be at the end of February. So I can have my books all ready for people for March because we'll be painting those in March and then I am hoping I don't know if, if it's going to come to come to fruition but I'm hoping to get the acrylic April oh look at that that very light little cross mark here at the top that just made it look, it just went poof and made it look like it went around. I am so happy. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get the acrylic April um, prompt list early enough to really get my stuff organized, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I'm not going to be doing the same paintings that uh, the Art Sherpa is. She has her own. I will have my own. So that way I can make my own little books. I'm not doing step by step in my books. I am doing just the little uh, coloring book to go along like I've been doing for all of these. I like that. We are going to put a little bit more gouache out. We're going to do the little snowflakes that are spattering her hair. I think I do want to dry it real quick. So, so that's kind of the plan of what's coming up. We're going to be November, uh, February is the overlap of this month. Yes. If you go to my, if you go to my Amazon store, you can see the different, uh, I have, there's two sets of mimic brushes that are sets. They are their try it packs. And they have like a $15 try it pack and a $30 try it pack. I actually have the ones that are the $30 try it pack, but you can use anything you want. You're young and this is a really good tutorial to follow. Thank you so much, Home Learning. If you want to see the drawing of this girl in the hat, the after the show is over up in the iCard, there will be the link for the um, marathon. And I did a marathon and I drew 30 drawings all in 14 hours and they're all time stamped. So you can look for the girl in hat, just slide your, your little, um, slider bar and it will pop up and it gives you the chapter titles and you can look for the girl in the hat and it will show you step by step how I drew it. So Kalam, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. I am going to go ahead and we're going to get a little bit more white gouache. White gouache is just opaque watercolor. This is not the acrylic gouache. This is the Arteza uh, gouache colors, which is uh, a lot of fun to use. So I got my brush wet. I am wetting down my gouache to make it a little bit more fluid. Oh, and if you don't have the gouache, you can use just a crafting white acrylic paint and get it about the same consistency, sort of like a like an ink. If you have a white acrylic ink, that will work too. Now, I've got my painted my brush and I'm going to get some snow spattered on her hair and some snow spattered on her hat. Look at that. Maybe a little more snow up in the sky. If you do, um, if you do really soggy paint, it might get a little bit splashy and go places that you don't want. And if you don't want some snow in a couple spots, you can go and just touch it with your brush. 
I like that. I like that. That coming down there is good. I think there's just a couple too many right there. You can go through and you can just touch and remove a couple that were just too many. Now she's in the snowfall. We are going to dry it real fast. Crochet, crocheting snakes for your grandsons. Oh, I remember my mom crocheting snakes. The twisty kind. So we're drying this off real quick. I will sign it and we will pull the tape off and we will have a finished painting. And it was all done in about an hour. I think that's pretty decent, right? So if you're new in here and you like what you see, make sure to click that uh, subscribe button and turn on notifications if you want to be notified when I post new videos. I'm going to put my little signature right here. And we're going to pull that tape off. So let's zoom out just a bit. And turn off the reference. We don't need her up there anymore. I am so tickled by how this turned out, guys. And now pull that tape off. There we go. And look at that. Oh my goodness. I'm going to shift this pad this way just a little bit. There we go. Look at that. She looks lovely. Her hat is all warm and cozy. She's ready to go play in the snow. And I hope that you are warm and cozy wherever you are, that you're taking time to be kind to yourself taking time to be creative and that's the best way of taking care of yourself because when you do that when you take care of yourself you can take care of those around you more easily refill your well and have a great day tomorrow we are going to be doing the apple tart on the vintage plate that's going to be a lot of fun and Remember that all of the images came from my 30 Cozy Creative Hand-Drawn Designs book, available on Teespring and on Amazon. The Amazon book is lovely and very professional looking. And it does give you a few of the pictures on the back cover. And one last thing, if you're looking for Valentine's or things to do to show some love and care for your family, friends, we have the Creative Hearts Full of Flowers mini creative book. It's got six hearts. We did do a mini marathon on last Saturday that we drew all of the hearts and then we painted all of the hearts cool thing is you can print this out as a book you could print it out on just pieces of watercolor paper this is just printed on watercolor paper and then that's the painting on the same watercolor paper cool stuff right so that's also available on teespring check it out and uh, we'll see you guys later i'm sorry i just kept talking <laughs> There we go. Take care, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.